it's me, Levishon X, and I'm back with another Roblox Islands video. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to build this cool boat that is in the bottle. So, it's actually quite hard, but I know I can do it. And before we begin, I'd ask you a huge favor to hit the subscribe button and notification button to not miss another video like this one. Now, on to the video. So, first, you need a lot of old planks. So, I actually pre-made some old planks. And then you need oak stairs, oak fences, and clay for the flag. And then you would just want to go to the place you want to build up. So now you would just need a 11 by 25 wide platform base. So you can just use oak planks for this because this would be the cheapest way to build it. Because this would just take less oak planks and if you want to use like just oak blocks takes forever and oak planks would just cover double the space so we'll just continue with oak planks or oak slides so this would take some time and this is just part one So you can actually get clay from the hubs lake, or you can just buy the clay totem, conveyor belts, and just add it to a chest. If you don't even have any, but you can like use vending machines, you can just come to my island at any time mostly. You just have to check. So the code is on the screen right now, right here. So that's my code, just write it down. And whenever you want something from Ireland, you can just join me and see if I have it. All right. So I'll continue with this. So this is actually my first biggest build I did myself. So this is actually just estimate measurements. So this would like maybe not be accurate, but I'll try to edit it. So it's going to take some time. Oh wow! I don't know how to find. Nice. I just need to get a workbench out. Actually. I need some more plants. Come on here. I actually have a friend just making old plants for me, so I'll just go pick them up after I'm out of bed. Just open this up. Um, 200 should be enough. This is actually quite good. You can actually just add like a mark in the middle just to know where the middle is because you'll be needing the middle up here. So let's build my test. So this is actually quite a big build and expensive build because you would need sawmills to make the wood into oak planks and then you would need a lot of oak trees to get the oak wood. So this would take like a few days to get all the wood you need. Maybe not in a few days, you can like maybe do it in a few hours if you have like a lot of people helping you. But I just have like only me. So I'll build one minute. So just like that, build them. Mm -hmm. Build them. I'll just jump down to the other side because I don't want to fall into the one more. Let's go. 
So this is our plot though. So it's 11 by 25. Okay, so now we would want to add this curve you can see right here. Okay, let me just build on this right around it. See a curve there? I think you can see it. Yeah, I could do that. So just a little bit. So that you can just make it with oak planks. So you can just start off like that. Like that. And then you will just add all that. Okay, actually I'm just gonna go pick up some wood on my friend. Alright. I don't know what he's trying to do there. I'll pick up the wood. And yeah, yeah. Um, okay, it's too quite good. Okay, let's go to the map now. Let's go to my island. Okay, so. This is where I have it. Hmm, I don't think that would be enough wood. So I'll try getting more wood after. So this is just part one. Okay, so now we will build off of this. Okay. You want to build like this, like two blocks high. Yeah. This actually just looks like a normal thing. Still have to add a curve at the front. I'll edit that. If you actually have enough like blue clay or any blue block, you can actually add water or you can just use real water. I'm just going to use real water, but I'm still not into that stage yet. Okay, so, so this is like the basement area, I guess you can say. I'm going to take some time. But this big build. I don't know how laggy my my island would be now. So, I'm right here. Oh, I'll just turn on my auto for the one. I'll be easier. There we go, auto for the one. Oh, oh, two in. I hate it whenever that happens. I have to break and then that takes them. Okay. Now we'll build off like this. Alright. Look, there's one thing. I missed one block. So close. Okay. So the stairs would be like for to, to go to the basement and or onto the ship. So that's what the stairs are for. And now my service is getting a little lively. Because that part is cut off. Maybe it's just, okay, it's still there. Good. Just left. Good. Because I'm actually scared of putting stuff in the chest now. Because once I was like playing islands and then all my stuff just disappeared, I came back. So I just broke up the chest thinking I'll get it back. But nope. I didn't get my stuff back. It was really sad. I had like five smelters in there. And then a few pearls. And maybe what? A few glided apps and pickaxes. So that was the saddest moment I ever had. So, yeah, it's okay, I guess.
because what can I do now? I have the stuff I need now, and now I just keep one tool now. So, yeah. Okay, so the first layer is just done. I'm just going to leave this open in here. So now you would add, you want to add the second layer. So something like that. So you would just add a block here and add two blocks of that. Then break off this block right here. And now build off of that. Okay, I'll just build the first layer first. Okay, so that's the first layer. Now the second layer. Also now a little bit. This will take some time. I need more planks. So my first bits build. I'm not even sure how it'll look. I'm quite scared. So the water would just be a platform at the bottom and just spread water all over. But that's the best way I can do it now. If you before we had this update, I saw a lot of people build boats I use, and they'll just add blue clay, so they lost a ton of money, I guess. Actually, I even took, lost a ton of money, but it's worth it. They added the project proper items. Now the trend is that people just ask for ruby staffs and just give static scepter. Someone actually asked me that, I was like, alright, I'll trade you, and then he just, I said, come to my island, and he said, no, come to my island, and I was like, the static scepter is better than the ruby staff, so I was like, he's a scammer, for sure, 100%, but I was like, alright, and then other scammer just comes up to me and like, I need help, and I'm like, okay, for what? And then he just click up, starts privately chatting to me on the Roblox chat. Like, I need 100 Roblox, it helps me a lot. I'm like, who asked for 100 Roblox? I don't even know how to give it. So, that's a total scammer. Yes. So, there are like quite a bit of scammers nowadays. And they are getting smarter and smarter because now the rarest art items are coming in and people are just getting blind not like actually blind but like rich blind like i'm gonna give you this for that and then like i'm getting blind i'm getting scammed so you don't even know that you're gonna get scammed so you should just be aware of that actually check like the actual prices of them and then just buy it. I actually bought like a lot of banners. Like one of them were like 120. I was like, it's okay, I'll just buy it. And then I just go to someone else's island. They're all 50,000 or 20,000. Like, really? They overpriced it. But it's alright. So, I'm actually done with the second layer. So, I'll see how this looks out. Uh, it's actually quite good. Uh, this boat is quite rectangular. I don't like rectangular stuff because they just look like box. I'll just break off this first layer and just break off. Okay, so I broke the first layer. Now I'm just going to add some more slides. So now That's that. I add an excess layer and then I want to just skip one block and build off like this. Because I need like the sharp end of it. And that will make it look quite cool. And miss another one. Add those. Then skip the other one. Add those. Skip another one. Add those. Now that's the point. This actually looks quite small so. I'll add like two layers, so this and that, so that's two layers, and then something like that, 
two layers. So you want to add two layers. Two layers. Two layers. Two layers. And then stuff like that. It'll look quite a bit better. So one, two. A little bit better. And there. At death looks better. I have to just break off this roof again. Oh, okay. On this side thingy right here. You can do like any way you want. I'm doing it like this one. So now, this is a little tricky. I have like that. Like that. Like that. Build up like that. Then it takes some time to break them off. And oh, I did that go cool. all the way here. Yeah, my look. Thing is getting a little laggy now. So, we'll go. Like that. Like that. Oh, wow. Uh, you can see that. Um, hmm. The boat looks quite good. I just need to add the stairs as soon as I'm done. And now, I'm going down. One, two. Now the boat will just curve in like so like that. So now break off these edge pieces right here. Break off that this right here and this right here and this one right here. So that's that. And now we'll continue like that. So take good time. But then you break them off again. No, no, big thing. no problem. It's okay. That's a bit heavy. Now I'll break off that. No. That. And no. This. A little confusing. So that's. I'll break off this. And that. And now then just build off the that. It's bringing a curve of the ship. They don't want to like start sailing off and then just crash and not go smoothly. The passengers won't like it. You can actually just build this and make it into a shop, but I don't want to because I already have the shop. I'll just build up. This could actually be a cool shop. You can like add all. The sea food or sea stuff to sell, like fish, fishing rods, uh, where they aquamarine shards, aquamarine blocks. Yeah, can do that. It's cool, it'll look cool because it is like a water team shop. Then I'll break up those later. Oh. Let's build this. And then, and then, oh, whoops. Hold on. You really don't see it. And that's a better perspective. And then this is better. Okay. Build up. Build up and then building actually shops like all messed up around the island is a little hard to manage because you go to that spot and then refill it and then you just have to go all over the island. You do that so that is little hard and that's gonna take some time so to just keep the vending machines all together that would be a good idea and that would just bring your customers a better experience on your island because they don't need to go all over your island just to buy stuff so they could just stay on one island or one spot and build it. so that's the end of my video 
this is actually part one and if you hope and i hope you enjoyed the video if you actually enjoyed it just hit the like button and share this to your friends so they could get an idea of how to build stuff and if you want me to build something specific you can just comment down below and i'll see you in the next video bye